Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Capper's Corner here with Windows One com. This installment, we're going to be looking at an NHL match between the Washington Capitals and the New York Islanders for Game Four of their respective series. This article is written by Chris Cabal. Check it out at Windows One com for more in-depth analysis. But first, for this matchup, he likes the Islanders to complete the sweep and to win Game Four at rough, as roughly a minus one ten. Uh, a couple reasons why. First of all, the Islanders have simply been the much better team so far in this series. Uh, Varlamov has been phenomenal on net. They've been great at 5-on-5. Five five. Holtby has been pretty inconsistent, mostly underwhelming. And the issue that the Capitals have is that they have no backup goalie. As Samsonov failed the pre-restart physical, and for that reason, the Capitals are forced to stick with Holtby, who has looked like the inferior goalie so far in the series. So, if you want to break it down, though, the Islanders have been very solid on offense in the postseason. They've been very solid defensively. The main issue they have right now is special teams. But the Islanders did a pretty good job of staying out of the penalty box in Game 3, and he expects that trend to continue. Plus, Barry Trotz just significantly, uh, is just the much better coach in this matchup, as Washington's coach looks simply overwhelmed by the situation, and he expects the Islanders to take advantage of that once again in route to a sweep, as the Capitals should come out flat once again with uh, elimination uh, pending. So, uh, a couple trends support that theory, though. The Capitals are 0-7 in their last seven games after allowing two goals or less in the previous game. And the Islanders are also 4-0 in their last four games overall. So for all those reasons, our own Chris Paul likes the Islanders to win this game on the money line at minus 110. That's been the installment of Capper's Corner here with winnersandwiners.com. Good luck to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.